the, the following should be considered before the grant of these ex parte orders and injunctions. One, the court should grant an ex parte or interim injunction if irreparable or serious mischief will result if it is refused. Two, if satisfied that the delay caused by proceeding in the ordinary way might entail irreparable or serious mischief, the court may make a temporary order ex parte upon such terms as it thinks fit. Three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Can I go on? Yes, my, head. my lord, go on. We're hearing you, sir. Yes, hearing my you. lord. Yeah, it must be an exceptional case which is serious and unjust. For it should last for a short time, five to seven days, and the judge will do well to state it. Five, unnecessary adjournments should not be granted to beneficiaries of ex parte orders. And six, an ex parte injunction will generally be granted only after a writ of summons, that is the original process, has been issued. The only exception is if the circumstances of the case are very urgent. Now, judges and lawyers know the guidelines very well. Then why is there a, resurg a resurgence of ex parte orders? There is always a resurgence of ex parte orders during the period to a run up to an election. Primaries are held. They are hotly contested. The stakes are too high. A case in point are the recently concluded primaries in Anambra State. The primaries were held to enable the political parties select their candidates for the gubernatorial elections due in November 2021. All manner of applications were filed in court. Ex parte injunctions were indiscriminately granted. There was even a case where applications to set aside results of primaries were heard out of jurisdiction of a number of states in another state. All this simply because the stakes are too high in election matters. What occurs in the courts by the filing of all manner of actions is an abuse of court process. In People's, De People's Democratic Party, PDP versus Sheriff 2017, Supreme Court, this case was a case where over 10 suits were filed in court, some in Lagos, some in Port Harcourt. The issue was really for the control of the party. Conflicting orders were made by different judges. In that uh, case, I, 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 I wrote the lead judgment. I said that the stakes are very high in political matters. So if allowed, Political office seekers will not hesitate to file multiplicity of suits on the same subject matter, hoping to get a favorable judgment from one court or the other. Their quest for this includes forum shopping, end of quote. How can this annoying practice be stopped? In the same case, I said, heads of court must by now be aware of this trend and stop this annoying practice of assigning cases on the same subject matter to different judges, who very likely will render conflicting decisions, ending up making the judiciary a laughing stock, end of quote. Trial judges must also be on the lookout and refrain from proceeding with any case when aware that his brother judge is handling a similar matter. After primaries are held by a party, and results announced. There will always be disputes as to who won, won the primaries. Two, who was not allowed to contest. Three, who did not contest but won. Many actions are filed in court before different judges to resolve the above. We then start reading and seeing conflicting orders. The resurgence of ex parte orders will be a thing of the past. If chief judges who have the responsibility to assign cases to judges, ensure that we are matters involving the same parties and the same claims are raised contemporaneously in two or more courts, it is desirable and in the interest of justice that these matters should be heard by only one of these courts. 
This also applies to a judge who ought to be aware that a similar case filed before him is also before another judge. He should send the case back to the chief judge for assignment to the judge who was first assigned such a case. This approach, if adopted by the chief judges and judges, will stop or prevent the real possibility of conflicting decisions in respect of one and the same subject matter. Once again, issues common to both matters should be heard and determined in only one court. Broadly speaking, all that I've been saying applies to conflicting orders generally, and more particularly to conflicting expert orders. Now, sanctions. In the 1990s, when Honorable Justice Ways was the Chief Justice of Nigeria and Chairman of the NJC, His Lordship set up the Assure Panel. This panel's main agenda was to sanction judges who fell short of what was required of them. Quite a number of judges were removed from office for the indiscriminate grant of expert orders. After the Assure Panel's report was presented to government, the NJC continued recommending judges for removal, and they were removed from office for the indiscriminate grant of expert orders, which invariably resulted in conflicting orders. This was the period when judges were heard to say that the fear of the NJC is the beginning of wisdom. Judges who fall short of what is expected of them, especially those who grant expert orders indiscriminately, we are always reported to the NJC. Similarly, legal practitioners who make it a practice to file suits outside jurisdiction or to obtain expert orders knowing fully well that a similar order had already been obtained but not favorable to him has clearly infringed the rules of professional conduct and should be sanctioned by the judge before whom he appears or reported to the disciplinary council of the bar. So these experte orders and conflicting orders and experte injunctions are not in you. They have been with us and we always hear of them, see them once it is an election year or once an election is about to be held. Uh, hello, can I be heard? Am I heard? Yes, sir. we can hear you. Yes, sir. My, my, my love, you are loud and clear. Experte orders, should never be removed from our rules. Expert orders are very, very good. It is only when you have uh, rascals sitting on the bench that you start seeing all these type of things we are seeing. Look, earlier on, you gave an example of when the Abiola um, election was stopped by an expert order. Then every, everything went haywire. We have inbuilt mechanisms in the judicial system to correct that mistake made by that Justice Basu. That the next day they could have gone before the Court of Appeal and it would have been corrected. But we just made, you, you, the, 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 the judge gave this expert order. It confused everything. Everybody threw their hands up. Everybody started to, 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 to what can be done. The judiciary is corrupt. The judiciary, is a, the judiciary has the an inbuilt mechanism to correct their judges who don't know they are left from their right. If there are anyone, if they are, they, they, they are there. You see, uh, expert orders, as I said at the beginning of my paper, I gave guidelines for the grant of expert uh, orders. They are very, very important orders that are given to last for a very short time. So when they are given, they should not cause any problem to the other party who has not been heard. As you said about God in the Garden of Eden, it is true. The Lord saw what Adam and Eve were doing, but he still gave them a, a hearing. You see, we, 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 have, we have to look at the, uh, this. Look, look, take examples of um, expert orders. If the government wants to demolish your house next week and you go to court this week, you should be granted an ex parte order. If there's an, a dire election next week and you go to, God, to court this week asking for an ex parte order because you are denied participation in the election that is holding next week and you give an ex parte order, that judge must have his head examined. What is he giving the ex parte order for? You have to weigh the, the interests of the person asking for it and, the, uh, 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 and what damage it will cause to the greater majority of the society. 
I mean, they, they, when you have all these very important cases that things could go wrong and, uh, 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 and very easily, a judge what he saw should hear the case day to day, day to day. That's how it's done. So when you 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 got your expert elders have been there for time immemorial. There is nothing happening now, as far as I'm concerned, that has not happened before. That was what a show panel was all about. That was all, all, all what Justice Uwais was doing as chairman of the NJC immediately after the show panel. Several judges were removed for, for, for indiscriminate grant of ex parte injunctions. It was only from about um, 2010 to about a year ago that there was a law in, 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 in checking these indiscriminate orders. But they were there. They were done. If it, that is why this, the, 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 the title of what we are uh, um, discussing today, the resurgence of uh, expert elders, appears to be very apt because if there, there is a resurgence. And I said this resurgence always comes up when there is election. No other time. It is when there is election you see it. And that is when, but we, 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 we um, make a um, 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 I don't know, either retraining or training for judges, especially trial judges, to be very careful and be well guided in granting of expert injunctions and not just grant it indiscriminately or how they choose to. Because it can cause serious damage if it is not uh, looked at properly. And where a judge grants a, 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 an expert injunction indiscriminately, it should be reported to the NJC. But in that case, you go before the Court of Appeal the next day, and the Court of Appeal should, should put everything aside and correct it. Thank you.